how do you get rid of World War II aeroplanes if you don't have access to the Bermuda Triangle? Try Blender. Recently, I was asked at work to take this aerial of some aeroplanes on a World War II um, landing strip and get rid of the aeroplanes. Here they are. I thought, well, though this seems fairly easy, I could just track some um, bit of this runway and paste it over the top. Of course, I can't just take a static piece of the image and paste it over the top uh, because that would be quite obvious because the the image tends to flicker quite a bit as it plays. You can see it's all very wobbly and uh, and very uh, old-fashioned film. Of course, it's not never going to be very clean, and it's got a lot of noise and grain and camera wo uh, film gate wobble and what have you. So what I needed to do was duplicate or clone a piece of this runway and put over the top of the aeroplanes. How would you do that? Well, the way that I achieved that was by going to the tracker and starting off by tracking both of the aeroplanes. Oops, too far. You can see I've tracked both of the aeroplanes quite successfully. And it was a very easy track, even though it's very noisy. So Blender does a great job of tracking these sorts of things. Track both of those. Then I went into the mask tool and added a couple of masks to each of the tracks and applied some feather. Both of these tracks were set up. Oops. Here they are as one mask layer but they've both been um, blended together as an add property so that they um, both appear as white blobs on black. Now we can see the result of that if I go to the compositor. Have a look at that node tree. I'll just hide some of these scale nodes, they're a bit irrelevant. I have the clean movie clip node with the aeroplanes. You can see them hiding in there. And I have the mask output. So let's have a quick look with the backdrop turned on. What I'm getting here, movie clip node, the original, which has some black borders. It's a legacy artifact of the way it was delivered to me. So it was, first of all, it looks like a square because it's uh, four by three standard definition um, and then we've ha I've had to track it anamorphically so you saw it in the widescreen version and now um, we're looking at it unanamorphic, unsqueezed and so unfortunately I can't change that in the backdrop values over here at all. All I can do is zoom it in and out but I can't or change it, tr um, translate it vertically or horizontally but I can't change the shape of the display, sadly. Oh well. I can have a look at the mask. That's what the mask looks like coming off of that source material. Um, however, I found that the mask didn't have the kinds of bleed um, feathering that I wanted, so I've had to also blur that. You can see I've had quite a heavy blur. And I've set that as an alpha over for the movie clip, but what did I do with the movie clip first? Well, if we have a look at the output from the movie clip, you can see the planes are in the frame. Then I've used the output uh, to go through a reroute node, and this reroute node has effectively split my movie clip into two. One of them goes to the alpha over node down here, but on its way I'm going to translate the output, in other words move the image across. That's what that looks like. So I've moved a bit of the runway across to the area the planes were occupying. Uh, the scale node is for later on blowing it up because they, the planes actually sort of come into the similar area of the runway. Anyway, I take my um, take my mask. Remember, it's been blurred a bit more, and I put that into the factor, or the uh, the quantity or the value of of alpha um, mix for the alpha over node. So it looks like this. They've gone away. So looked like this before. Now it looks like this now. So it's cloned a little portion over the top. All the rest, translate and scale, was just to blow the image up to fill the screen a bit more. 
Anyway, the result of all of this, if we go back to the video editor, now I have planes that have disappeared. Play that through. It'll render, of course, a little bit slowly. And where they were before has got a perfect duplicate, including noise of the runway, including the aeroplanes, wherever they are. I can hide that, of course. There they are there. And unhide that. Zoomed up and erase the aeroplanes. So, that's how you get rid of World War II aeroplanes from a runway in Outback Australia without the Bermuda Triangle. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you can find some more interesting uh, tips and tricks on my the rest of my YouTube channel. Please uh, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.